welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be my January favorites and um, I always feel like I'm late with these. I'm tired of always being so effing late. So now let's get into it. First of all, I started with all of the random stuff and fashion stuff and whatever is not makeup and beauty related. And the first thing that I need to talk to you guys about is Scum, which is a Norwegian TV show. Let's be honest, my entire January month, I was just watching and going through season one, two, and three, and I'm just like, I'm so excited about season four. I think it's gonna be about Xana, and for you guys who don't know Scam, it is a Norwegian TV show, and um, it's so amazing. It's about some teenagers and about the teenage life, and we follow each an individual story from the different characters in the TV show, which is so cool. First one was about Eva and about her relationship with um, Jonas, or Jonas which is so freaking hot. <laughs> and the second season was about Nora and her relationship with William, who is also freaking handsome. I think he's so mysterious, I really like that. The mysterious thing about him actually really reminds me about Edward from Twilight. Am I the only one? Um, but the last season, season three, that is the newest one, is about Isaac and his um, gay relationship, which is so cute with Evan, and I'm just like, those two are so, so, so cute together. It just makes me so happy. And I actually showed you a teeny tiny bit of that season three in my morning routine. I'll leave that somewhere here in the screen if you're interested. I just really like it. I can relate to it as well with the relationship things and so on. So it's really cool and I can highly recommend it. A food favorite or a restaurant favorite is actually 42 Raw, which I've been to a lot during January, definitely. It's just been like my go-to place for dinner or lunch. I think many people who aren't vegan or vegetarian even, they think that it's such boring food and if you don't have meat, what are you gonna eat then? But honestly, try 42 Raw, you will be surprised how tasty and delicious food can be without any kinds of meat. I think I've been there three times a week, <laughs> sometimes three, four times a week, it's really bad. And for fashion favorites, I've got two for you to show you, which is actually more kind of like accessories and then some boots. The first ones here are my um, Kendall and Kylie boots. I have only had them for like two months or something like that, but honestly, I've been wearing them almost every single day. But I love that they're like so sharp out here at the end, and um, yeah, they're just really comfortable to wear. And they're very slim up here at the angle as well. And also just the heel size, it's not too big, it's not too small, it's just a very nice and comfortable heel. They're very comfortable to wear, I've been wearing them like a crazy person, like literally almost every single day. They're just my go-to boots now. And the other fashion favorite is more like an accessory, it is my gloves right here, or my mittens, whatever you want to call them. And they are from Cos, and I think I've been showing you these before. I love them so much, and people are like, when I'm wearing them, that's so cute. I just really like them. They're very classic, nothing special. There's some kind of like a woolen material inside of them, so they're very warm as well. As I said, I got them from Cos. I think they are around 500 Danish Krono. And the last random favorite that I've got to share with you is actually this thing right here, which is a picture. And um, it's a picture that I got from a person called Martin Bacher. Oh, Raka, I'm not sure how to say his last name, but he is a very, very talented dude and I just have to give him a huge shout out. He made this um, painting for me actually, which I use in my backgrounds now in my videos. I really hope that you like it. I'll leave like a better picture right here in the screen for you. What I like about his work is that it's not something specific that the pictures show or whatever. It's not like a person. To me the pictures are a bit more abstract and you can kind of like get whatever you want from them. You can get a feeling, you can get a thought, you can get inspired. I like that it's kind of like graffiti-ish without being that hard core graffiti kind of thing. And I'm glad that I've gotten to know such a creative guy and also just, yeah, work together with him. And I do have some more photos with me and this picture on my Instagram as well, which I will leave right here together with his Instagram as well. That was all of the random stuff. Now let's move on to the makeup and beauty stuff. The first makeup product that I have to mention to you guys is something that's finally back in my life and it is the Laura Mercier foundation primer and this is a radiance version. I'm actually wearing it today underneath my makeup and what I love about it is that it gives such a radiant and beautiful glow to the skin. Not only does it make your makeup last much longer and sit much better on the skin but it also gives the most beautiful radiance. When talking about foundation there's one foundation that's just stood out to me and you will have seen me use this 
fairly much in my videos. It is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is in the shade 4. I love the texture of this one because it's not too thick on the skin. Medium coverage definitely. You can build it up as well. It's just so easy to work with honestly and it gives the most beautiful finish to the skin. I just feel like that it's more like that natural glow from within and that just that really really nice skin look it looks as if you've been airbrushed or something like that next favorite is something for the brows that i've been using like a crazy person and you will know that because i've been talking a lot about it as well it is the anastasia dip brow pomade in the color blonde and it has gotten back into my life. I remember the first time actually trying these pomades and so on, I was very much against them because I was like, it is way too much, it's way too difficult to control and so on. But once you really get the hang of it, these are sent from heaven. It definitely takes some work and some training to get really used to these. But once again, once you get the hang of it, you will never leave it again. It is so freaking amazing. It can't come as a surprise to any of you guys that I freaking love Too Faced. I think Too Faced, they are so on point with their products. I am, I, I don't think there's one day where I don't use a Too Faced product. One product that I just have to mention in this favorites is the Born This Way Concealer. It is so beautiful on the skin. I love using it underneath my eyes just to brighten up a tiny bit. I love using it on pimples or just wherever I want some more coverage. The texture is not too thick or anything like that. And I love that it comes with a doe foot applicator. It really just makes it so much easier for you to work with. So all in all, this is an amazing concealer. I can highly recommend it if you haven't tried it already. Let's move on to some bronzer or contour. Once again, one of those products I've just gone back to again and again and again all through January is this thing. This thing! <laughs> it is the Anastasia Contour Kit in the medium to tan version. And normally you would say that that is probably for people with a bit more of a medium tan skin. But honestly, it just works so, so well. As you can see, I've been using that color very, very much because that is like the only really, really, really cool color that is great for contouring and I've been using it a lot also just a nose contour as well and then that color out there is really pretty just all over the cheese or actually as an eyeshadow as well I've also been using this as eyeshadows because they're great in pigmentation just the overall color selection is amazing for bronzing up your skin or contouring once again a love product and just one of those that I've just gone back to again and again and again and that highlight though sleek you are a missing, a missing. How can it be so freaking inexpensive and so incredibly good at the same time? I don't get it, this is magic. It is the highlighting palette from Sleek, it's called Soul Stitch. Actually, let's just apply it. Right now I'm wearing a highlighter already, as you can see, but once you get this on, I'm not even wearing highlighter right now. Nothing. Just the glow that it gives on the skin and just that beautiful color. It's like, it's so bright and so bold, but still so beautiful. Sleek, you've outdone yourself with this palette. And um, I've actually got some other products from Sleek that I have to try out. I'm actually really interested in Sleek. Do you want me to do like a full face first impression of Sleek products or something like that? Because I'm really, really, really interested in that brand. For the eye area, I've got two products that I just have to share with you. The first one is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Liquid Liner. This is amazing, guys. I'm actually wearing it today. And what I love about it is that it's got a tiny bit of a sparkle to it as well. This one is in the shade Golden Bronze Sparkle, which is my absolute favorite. And I can highly, highly, highly recommend this one because it's actually waterproof, so it is much better at lasting like the entire night if you're going out. The firmness of the felt tip is just absolutely perfect. You can do some very precise lines with it. As you can see, I've done a wing liner with it today and I love it. And I love the color because from a distance, you won't be able to tell that it's kind of like a goldy, bronzy shade. But once you get up close, you can actually start to see the small sparkly things. And also just that it's a bit more of a brownie shade than a black shade. This is a little miracle worker for you who wants a bit more of an easier liner to work with. And the eyeshadow palette that I want to mention to you guys is from Too Faced once again. It is the Too Faced Sweet Peach uh, palette. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes at the moment. I love the color selection and the best thing is the smell. It literally smells so lovely. It really smells like peaches. I mean it's not that artificial peach, at least not in my mind. To me it's just a very fresh and sweet and juicy peach <sighs> and I like that there's a great variety of mattes and shimmers and a bit of glitter as well 
just really, really nice. And I actually love that it comes with a very, very dark shade right there. So once again, you can do some very dramatic looks, but also just some very neutral everyday looks. And packaging is freaking cute. Mm. Moving on to some hair care, what I love especially, and that I just have to mention, is that I finally got my hair done. I got my hair cut like just the ends, I got them trimmed. And I also got my roots done and just my color and so on, which I've actually gone for a bit more of a blondy, goldy, beigey color this time. It's only been like two and a half weeks since I got my hair done and look at that. Why is my hair growing that fast? It really annoys me because I love the color and my hairdresser is Gunvoid Koifua and um, my hairdresser she's called Simona. She is so freaking talented. I'll leave her Instagram right here in the screen somewhere because you have to go check her out. She's amazing. If you want to find a good hairdresser in Copenhagen, Gunnblit and then Simone is amazing. I mean all of the people in there, they're amazing, but Simone, she's so sweet, so kind, so funny and just really, really talented. But for hair care, I've got two different products or not even hair care, just hair products. The first one is the Tony and Guy Instant Refresh Dry Shampoo. You know, I'm a crazy fanatic addict when it comes to dry shampoo. This is amazing and I love the smell of this one as well. It is not too artificial or anything like that. It just leaves a very refreshed scent to your hair while it also just gives that refreshed look to your hair. And this one doesn't give that white residue in your hair either. The other thing is actually a hairspray and I know that hairspray is hairspray, whatever, but remember I'm an old dancer. I want the hairspray to make my hair freaking stiff. So I found a really great one. This is from Gianfrida. This is the one called Ultimate Fixation Hairspray and it says extra strength hold. But I love that. I love that about this one. That is what makes me go like, yes. And as far as I can see, it's got keratin in it as well. So it's great for the hair. Kinda. And lastly, I've got two skincare products to share with you and these are both rediscoveries of mine. The first one here is the Polish Choice Clinical 1% Retinal Treatment. Was it like two or three years ago that I had that really bad rash on my skin and I went to the doctors, I tried different creams and serums and nothing worked at all and the doctor was like, you just need some pills and I was just like, I don't want that. So I did some research myself and I found this one and this saved my skin for real. It is very, very active in its ingredients, but if your skin is used to retinol or just some stronger, more active um, products or skincare products, definitely try this out. It is anti-aging because it is a retinol treatment and retinol is just another way of saying vitamin A, which is really anti-aging and cell renewing. I feel like that my skin is a bit more tight and a bit more when I'm using this one and it also reduces dark spots and refines pores. But once again, if you're new to retinol treatments or just some stronger treatments for your skin, definitely be very gentle in the beginning. Only use it maybe once a week. When I started using it, my skin was peeling so badly for the first two weeks because I wasn't that careful. So. Learn from my mistake, definitely. The other skincare product, however, is one that everybody can benefit from using. And it is the Clinique City Block um, Sheer. And this is the Super City Block because it's got SPF 40 in it. I like this one because once again, it's fragrance free. It is great for sensitive skin and um, it is oil free as well. So if you do struggle with oily skin, this is no issue for you to use. And to me, this is not just an SPF cream or whatever. It is also my daily moisturizer. Sometimes when you go for those higher SPF levels, it tends to leave the white cast on your face. But because this one has got a tiny bit of tint in it, as you can see, it doesn't do that at all. And I love that it's a bit more yellow toned as well. Great for my skin. This is just a lifesaver for me and I freaking love it. And that was my first monthly favorites, guys. The beginning of this year has been amazing. I've made a video about that, like my recap 2016. There's so much love around me, so many great people. Everything is just exactly how it has to be and I'm just really, really happy. So that is just amazing and I can't wait for 2017 to truly begin. But thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember, I love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else. Mwah.